there guys, this is Jester of None. Today we're going to be making a really simple brushed metal texture. Uh, it looks really good, but most importantly, it just takes a second to do. First thing you're going to do is go over to your paint bucket here and then pick out a grey colour. Um, it doesn't really matter what grey, I mean, whichever shade you want to go with, it's fine really. And then you're going to go on effects, noise, and then add noise. So here this generates a bunch of random stuff. Make sure that colour saturation is all the way down and then play with the intensity. Um, you can play with the coverage as well. Now we've got this uh, weird gray background. This is not a good texture, but we just go on to here, motion blur, and it's already set because I was doing this earlier, but um, you can play with this for a while, but you can already see in the bits that have started to render that this is starting to look like um, a brushed metal texture. You can actually just leave it like this. You might wanna make this distance a bit lower so that you have shorter brush strokes as it were but it doesn't make a huge difference. Again, it's gonna be roughly the same kind of brush metal texture. Here we have something that, that this is passable as it is, as a brush metal texture. So you have this texture, you can leave it like this if you want to, but there's another step that you can do to make it just a little bit better. You don't have to do this, but um, so the first thing you wanna do is create a new layer and then go on effects, render, clouds. So it makes these uh, big cloud-like clouds, I guess you could call them. Once they're done rendering, you want to change the brightness and contrast up here. So um, this will give you a screen that is just filled with um, nonsense. You want just a little bit of blackness and you are gonna use this. You don't need the white, so just select the magic, uh, magic wand, select the white and delete it. This will clear all the white off your screen. So you've got your weird black things. You're gonna select the black bits and then go on the move selection screen and just pull this down um, at this, this sort of angle is perfect. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to leave this, this sort of amount of space here um, because you're now gonna go on the uh, rectangular select tool, click on invert up here, which is um, it, it picks the, it takes everything that you haven't selected, drag it across the screen, zoom in here and take the magic selection button again. And you wanna click subtract and take off the outside of the black stuff. And this leaves you with just a tiny bit of the edge of the black stuff. Um, I'm gonna call it black stuff because uh, it just seems like the only appropriate name. So now you have the edge, create another layer, take your paint bucket and fill it up black. Okay, you can render this invisible for now, that's fine. But you do need to select the whole, all of the black stuff again. Uh, make sure that you change your setting back to replace. Now you have just the edge of this black stuff. You can already see where we're going. We're gonna make a little shadow. So we go on Gaussian blur up here, having selected only the, oh, make sure you've changed the layer. Make sure you change the layer. Now that you've got just the little edge of this shadow, you can go up here to Gaussian blur and hit it. Play with the settings here until you have just a little bit of shadow. I'm zooming in here doing it so that I can show you what's happening. You're going on Gaussian blur again. And then you just want a little bit of shade. This is gonna give what you're making a little bit more texture. So there is a little bit of texture to it, but it also looks a bit sharp. So like it, it doesn't make much sense there. So, uh, and it's a smooth metal. So what you're gonna do is go on motion blur, make sure it's pointed up to 90 degrees, and then we'll wait for it to render. You can see here these sort of faint shadows that are building up a little bit of a more texture to our texture. Um, and if you click OK, it'll just finish rendering. Hit Control A, Control C. Now you've got this all selected and copied. That's the important thing, it's copied. You're gonna hit Control Z until you've undone everything you've just done. Right back through the Gaussian blur. Now you have everything back that you just did, but you have your shadows left over. So the next thing you're gonna do is move these over so that you can use them as a light to the shadow. Just so that we can see what we're doing, we'll turn this back on and then invert this layer. So you go to adjustments, invert colors, and then you have white. We've got the white, the white color now, and we're gonna drag it so that it is on top, not actually overlapping with, but on top of the texture we just made. We're gonna do exactly the same thing we did just now. We're gonna use a motion blur. Might wanna make this one a bit longer because white stands out quite a lot. Let's finish rendering. Now what you can do is I'm gonna move this so it's above the shadow, and then I'm going to put it on um, color dodge and then play with it. You can play with it until you find that you've got something that you're happy with. So we can leave this here. This is a, a very passable brushed metal texture. Not the best texture in the world, 
but but it is far better than going online and taking one from someone else and by doing it you have learned something good about texturing if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more textures or i want a texture that i haven't yet covered leave a comment asking for it and i will get around to it as soon as i can thank you very much guys see you next time oh i left everything off oh no oh no no oh no okay so i didn't successfully thread the needle there uh, rather i did 